A manhunt continues at this hour in the city of Venice. Right now, police are searching for a man they believe tried to steal two cars and severely beat a woman at a gas station. ABC 7's Christopher Brantley has the details on the suspect and where he may be. Christopher. According to the Venice police, last night a man attempted to steal a car here in the public's parking lot on the island of Venice. He was unsuccessful. Uh, while we were en route to that call, we also received an additional 911 call of an injured female uh, at San Marco and the trail, the uh, shell station right there. The woman was beaten. She was taken to Sarasota Memorial Hospital and is in serious condition. It's believed she worked at this massage parlor across the street and may have known the suspect. The man then attempted unsuccessfully to steal a pickup truck. Police began searching but quickly lost the man last night. This morning, they continued their search, but first they put Venice Elementary and Venice High School in lockdown. I would have definitely had some reservations about sending her to school or at least maybe taking her there and dropping her off. Venice High parent John Bain says he wishes he would have known sooner that this search was going on. When something like this happens, maybe there's a better way to let the residents know. The public was not informed of the search for a suspected dangerous criminal until 1121 this morning via a press release. 15 hours after that first 911 call. The city's mayor is unhappy. When did you find out about this? 1123. Today? Yes. How does that make you feel considering there's been a manhunt going on in your city? Um, I have an appointment with the city manager to discuss it. In a press conference late this afternoon, the chief of police defending the decision to not release information sooner. I feel like we did a very thorough job of searching him. Um, searching that area. So right now it looks like he's probably was able to uh, leave the area. He, he basically ran in the opposite direction of the high school. So and just to reiterate in that press conference earlier today, the police chief said he does not think the suspect is still in the area and he said he does not believe there is an active threat to the community.